Thanks for inviting us in. I want to begin tonight with the story that's got everybody talking tonight. These criminal charges just filed in that violent confrontation at Lake Monroe that was caught on camera. You've seen the video. It's been viewed thousands of times. Now, we've heard both sides of this story, but tonight there are warrants out for the arrest of two men. And on top of all of that, a positive COVID-19 test is thrown into the mix. Our Emily Longnecker headed to Bloomington today to sort it all out. Well, today's press conference with Vox Booker was held on Zoom, and that's because Booker announced today that he has tested positive for COVID-19. He said he got tested after that July 4th incident where he was allegedly attacked in the woods by two men. Those men now charged today. Booker calling the announcement of those charges not a happy day, but a necessary one in his search for justice. Monroe County Human Rights Commissioner Vox Booker says he doesn't want vengeance. He wants justice after allegedly being assaulted in the woods of Monroe County. I want us to understand that accountability, which is what I'm asking for, is not the same as punishment. Friday, a first step towards what Booker is seeking. Stop, let him go. Sean Purdy and Jerry Cox, two of the men seen in this video, are facing several felony charges stemming from what played out with cell phone cameras rolling. That's Booker pinned to a tree. The result, according to court documents, a mild concussion for Booker, bald spots on his scalp, along with a scratch on his cheek and an abrasion on his knee. And it's important that we send out a message loud and clear that this type of behavior can no longer be tolerated. According to those same court documents, Booker told officers with the Indiana Department of Natural Resources who investigated that Purdy threatened to lynch him. Purdy was charged with intimidation and the phrase, get a noose, referenced in charging documents. A neutral and detached judge reviewed the probable cause affidavit and determined that indeed there was probable cause to believe Purdy said, get a noose. Despite charges being filed, Booker's attorney called the charging documents whitewashed. All the terrible racial epithets which were hurled against Vox Booker, at which we all saw on tape, not a single one of those epithets is in the probable cause affidavit. In an investigative report released by the DNR Thursday, the accused men alleged Booker trespassed on private property that day. The attorney for Sean Purdy issued a statement on Friday's charges. It said in part, quote, it appears entire portions of an exhaustive law enforcement investigation, including physical evidence and credible eyewitness testimony, were ignored in reaching that decision. Legitimate and evidence-based charging recommendations by law enforcement officers also went ignored. That is troubling. Purdy and Cox could be facing more charges. The FBI is investigating whether this was a hate crime. Booker's attorney says he already talked with federal investigators. This is about justice. And part of that is going to be the need to move on to the federal level. Booker's also not remaining silent about his positive COVID-19 results. His attorney says she contacted the lawyers for Purdy and Cox to let them know they should get tested. 